My boss thinks I've been manually searching for order details like this. But I've really been doing this. Press F4 to lock the range. Select the look up value. Select the entire column which contains the look up value. Zero for exact match. Enter the column number of the buyer. Like and follow for daily tips. I caught my teacher highlighting absent students like this. So I showed them this. Select the data. Press Alt H L N. Like and follow for daily tips. My CEO thinks I sum our store sales like this. But this is what I really do. Use the sum if function. Select the list of stores. Press F4 to lock the range. Pick the criteria. Select the sales data to sum. Press F4. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop filtering like this in G Sheets. Here's what you should do instead. Go to the Data tab. Choose Add a Slicer. Move the slicer above your data. Choose a column to slice. Select a location to slice. Or select multiple locations. Like and follow for daily tips. I saw my co workers separating data this way. So I helped him out by showing this tip. Right click your CSV file, open with Notepad. Above your data, type sep equals comma. Save the file. Go to the File Explorer and reopen your CSV file. Like and follow for daily tips. How I used to autofit cells in G Sheets. Versus how I autofit cells now. Press Ctrl A twice to select the entire sheet. Then double click between any two columns or rows. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop joining first, middle, and last names this way. Instead, use this awesome function. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop manually entering data from paper. Instead, go to the Excel mobile app. Open a blank workbook. Tap the lower left icon. Tap the picture icon. Snap a clear picture of your data. Crop if necessary. Tap Confirm. Tap Insert. Review and open the data. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop doing this in Excel. The image will never fit in the screen. Instead, insert a rectangle.
right-click and choose Edit Points. Adjust the corners of the rectangle to fit inside the screen. Right-click the rectangle and choose Format Shape. Change to Picture Fill and insert a picture. Like and follow for daily tips. Want to make a progress chart like this? Select the data. Go to the Insert tab. Add a donut chart. Drag the chart over and adjust the size. Delete the header and legend. Triple click the orange portion. Change the orange fill to gray fill. Go to the Format tab. Add a text box. Go to the formula bar. Type equals and click the actual percentage. Resize and center the text. Now you have a working progress chart. Like and follow for daily tips. My coworker asked me how I made these dependent drop down lists. So I showed him this. Select the first cell. Go to the Data tab. Click Data Validation. Choose List, then select the Food Categories. Select the second cell. Go back to the Data tab and click Data Validation. Choose list again, but this time, enter this formula. Now you have dependent drop-down lists. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't stretch columns and rows by hand. Automate it with this. Right-click the Worksheet tab. Click View Code. Change General to Worksheet. Type in this code. Go back to Excel. Click anywhere to autofit all cells. Type in new data and watch the columns autofit. Like and follow for daily tips. My boss thinks this is how I visualize data. When in reality, I actually do this. Select the column of numbers. Go to the Home tab. Select More Number Formats. Enter this code. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop typing dates in Excel. Instead, change each cell to date format. Then, double click any cell to open a date picker. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't transfer data from a picture like this. Go to the Data tab. Choose from Picture. Then, Picture from File. Select the picture to open.
Let Excel load the data. Review the data for any errors. Fix any mistakes. Insert the data. Like and follow for daily tips. My lazy boss added flags to our spreadsheet like this. So I showed him this. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't waste time deleting asterisks like this. Instead, press Ctrl H. In the Find What box, type tilde followed by an asterisk. Leave the replace with box empty. Hit Replace All. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't highlight the active row by hand. Instead, select all of the data. Go to Conditional Formatting. Choose New Rule. Select Use a Formula and enter this code. Change the format. Right-click the Worksheet tab and select View Code. Change General to Worksheet. Type in this code. Go back to Excel. Now the active row automatically highlights. Like and follow for daily tips. How to solve quadratic equations in Excel. Start by using the let function. Press Alt plus Enter to start a new line. Start defining your variables and their values. The final row should be the final calculation. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop grouping data this way. Instead, type in the query function. Select your data. Type in this query. Like and follow for daily tips. 99% of people delete line breaks like this. The other 1% do this. Press Ctrl plus A. Then press Ctrl plus H. In the Find What box, press Ctrl plus J. Leave the Replace with box empty. Like and follow for daily tips. Our intern was typing out all of the names and numbers. So I showed him a faster way. To extract the names, use this formula. To pull out the numbers, use this formula. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't partially hide a phone number like this. Use this new formula instead.
Like and follow for daily tips.